Uh, Salim, congratulations. How does it feel to be named club captain for your hometown club? Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. Uh, obviously, I've, I've stood in a few times previous in, the, in past sort of teams and last year I obviously took the role on full time and really enjoyed it. It just sort of adds something extra to um, you know my character anyway that I've got is, is one that obviously demands and you know always sets good standards but obviously knowing that there's there's lads that are going to be looking up sort of to you and uh, you're making sure you've got to be doing the right things and you know I take that as sort of a pride thing really of how I you know, portray myself around the dressing room, around uh, training and, and, you know, match days. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled to bits and as like you said, with it being of, of a local team, um, you know, I couldn't be happier. Um, what other attributes do you think make yourself go casting? You mentioned on the pitch, on the pitch as well, lead by example. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you look at our our dressing room, I'm, I'm you know, I'm lucky because uh, the tough choice for the gaffers. There's four, five, six lads that have uh, been a captain or sort of got the captain, you know, the little extra things that the captain needs. And it's just, you know, the managers say a lot of things, you know, off the pitch, prepare you for stuff. The coaches prepare you for stuff. And, you know, when you cross the line and you go out, you know, on a match day, you're sort of, you know, managing it for them because obviously they can set out instructions on, but you're in the game, you can see what things are happening and, and you know, you're sort of trying to G up some players and, and making sure, you know, the organisation's right. Same with training, you know, you, you've got to be one of the lads that are looking round and making sure the standards are being met every day because at the end of the day, we don't have any, any excuses or leave nothing for granted to, to get promotion out of this league this year. And uh, it's lucky that, um, you know, the players have bought into straight away of, of what the gaffers have mentioned to us when we first met on, on the uh, hotel football. So everyone's bought into it and everyone's been pushing each other. And, you know, I found it really easy to sort of be a, a, you know, to manage a group of players as a player myself because, you know, they respect me and they, and they listen to me. And same same goes, if, you know, I'd expect to, somebody else to tell me if, I, if my standards weren't up there. But, you know, I'm that type of player who obviously prides himself on doing well, you know, each and every day. So fingers crossed that'll rub off on the lads and, and we'll go from there. Um, what else are you looking for from the lads and what can they expect from you as well? Uh, I'm just really committed. Uh, I've obviously been away now um, and I've moved back and this is sort of a big project for me. Uh, being at a club for hopefully longer than a season and you know, the first thing for me is to perform and to make sure I keep my place in the team and, and to do the right things in training and then from there obviously the lads will see that yeah, some might think it's a little bit busy at times but I'm, I'm, I'm on everything. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking at doing the fines, making sure people's discipline, making sure my own discipline's right, just so that, you know, there's lads here that um, obviously haven't got the same sort of experience, a bit less. There's some lads that are a lot younger that are going to look around and, and want to sort of get answers to questions that, you know, the gaffers might not be there to answer at the time. And I want to be a player who can obviously pass stuff on that I've learned in, in previous teams and from previous managers uh, and to help them to develop and to be the best that they can be. Because essentially, if I can give what I can to the lads and sort of push each other another 5%, then on a whole, that's going to lift the whole group that we've got here. And just finally, how much would it mean to lead the team to hopefully promotion at the end of the season? Yeah, I mean, I've been in this league before with Halifax and we went up via the playoffs. And, and I'm not saying that if we were to go up by the playoffs, it would be a bad thing this year because it's not because promotion is the ultimate goal. But to, to actually win the trophy, to be obviously the outstanding team over the the number of games that we've got to play. You know, it's a tough league. You know that, um, you know, that'd be more um, to sort of anything really. I mean, I've. I've had a few good moments in football, but you know, to, to be able to do that would be, you know, to top it. But uh, that's a long way to go. Uh, and essentially, I would love to see this team and myself, you know, next year in the league above.